Live photos are effectively three second video files and you can use them in your video editing software. But if you're gonna do that, well, there's a few things you should know. Hi, I'm Martin Keen, and on this channel, Keen on Tech, we cover technology tips and tutorials. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about taking live video, turning it into three second video clips and combining that with other more traditionally shot video. Now, I needed to do this myself on a little family vacation. I had some, some regular video and some live photos. I wanted to mash them together. And um, well, well, let me show you an example of what that looks like. Now the first shot was a regular video file, but then after that, every other shot was a live photo. Now you can tell it's a live photo pretty easily because there are those black bars. The regular video is shot in a 16 by nine aspect ratio and a live photo is in a four by three aspect ratio. So you can tell a difference, but using live photos gave me access to all sorts of additional footage that I wouldn't otherwise have had. So let's talk about getting those live photos off of your iPhone and into your video editing software. Now, usually the way I would do that is through AirDrop. I'd AirDrop from my phone to my Mac. But if you do that, all you'll end up with is the image files. You won't get the video files from the live photo. So what you actually need to do is launch the Photos app on the Mac. From there, select the live photos you'd like to transfer, hold down the Option key, and drag those photos to a finder window. What you will get are two files for each photo, the regular image file itself and an MOV movie file. Now here I am in Final Cut Pro and I can look at these video files and I can see that they are actually little three second clips. Now let's talk about frame rates because frame rates are very important when it comes to video. Now when live photos were first introduced in iOS 10 on the iPhone 6S, they created 15 frame per second movies. With the iPhone 7 and iOS 11, that has been up to 30 frames per second. But a live photo is not always 30 frames per second. It depends upon the exposure. So let me show you some examples. Here's a live photo I took in a nice, well-lit environment outside a hotel I was staying in. And when we look at this live photo in the video editing software, we can see that it's running at 30 frames per second. Now the second photo was taken inside my hotel room. The light's a little bit murkier. And you can see here that this is actually a 25 frame per second video. Then as another test, I went into my bathroom, turned all the lights off, there's hardly any light at all. And in that situation, this video is now 24 frames per second. So what Apple appears to be doing here is varying the frame rate based upon the exposure, based upon how much light is available. So just keep that in mind that generally a live photo is gonna be 30 frames per second, but in a slightly darker environment, it may be less. And the other thing to be aware of, of course, is aspect ratio. So these live photos, they are a four by three aspect ratio. Most likely the video you're creating is 16 by nine. So if you want to avoid those black bars, what you could do is you can crop in to your live photo to get a 16 by nine aspect ratio. That of course has two issues. One, it can affect composition because you're gonna be chopping off a bit of the top or the bottom of that photograph. And secondly, because you are effectively zooming in on the photograph, there is gonna be a bit of a loss in resolution. So yeah, look, for me with this vacation video, having these live photos was like a little miracle that I had all of this extra little footage that I didn't realize I had, showing me stuff that I would never otherwise have captured. So yeah, live videos, they're not perfect. There are issues with the fact that the aspect ratio is not correct. And of course, issues with the variable frame rate. But in a pinch, you can absolutely use live photos with your existing footage and really get something that you've not otherwise been able to capture. That's it from me. See you on the next one.